say, pleased to meet you, and we'll get acquainted. Or, if you have more important things to do than talk to old Festus, say goodbye. Well, pleased to meet you, partner. New in town, partner? Well, let old Festus give you the lay of the land. If you're here to redeem your sunset sarsaparilla stars, dump them into the slot in the barrel below and I'll count them up. If you don't know what sunset sarsaparilla stars are and think old Festus is just shooting his mouth off, say star info. And you're here to challenge old Festus to a game of lucky horseshoes, say I feel lucky. Lastly, if you're here about the health advisory that aired on Channel 6 recently, say silly old advisory. Well, shoot, partner. Give me some of them there star info. Oh, new to the hunt, are you? Well, listen carefully, as old Festus don't like to repeat himself. Select sunset sarsaparilla bottles will have special caps with blue stars on them. These caps are known as sunset sarsaparilla stars. Why are these stars there, and what do they mean? <laughs> Nobody knows. Except maybe old Festus. <laughs> Rustle up enough of them and you can win a prize. So get out there and start drinking Sunset Sarsaparilla. Alrighty then, I guess we better get out there and start wrangling up these Sarsaparilla stars. So Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Caps are a sort of collectible that you can find all throughout the wasteland in Fallout New Vegas. And if you get 50 of them, you can bring them back to Old Festus and he will give you a reward and tell you a little bit more about their origin. You can actually find one here in the Sunset Sarsaparilla Headquarters. In this safe right here, it's going to have an average lock, but once you break it open... You get your first star bottle cap. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Why were you following me? It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. What's so special about these caps? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Where can I find more of these caps? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and Blue Star caps are no exception. So you collect these caps too? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. So uh, what kind of treasure are we talking about here? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value, and that's enough to get people motivated. Oh yeah, buddy, thanks for the info, but, uh, something's not no adding problem. up. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Yeah, he's the one you should be looking for, looking out for. Oh, would you look at that? Six star bottle caps. Malcolm Holmes is an encounter that you will come across shortly after your first star bottle cap that you pick up. I usually pick up mine closer to Good Springs. I usually run into him somewhere before the Mojave Outpost. So be on the lookout 
After you pick up your first one, you'll get six star bottle caps for killing him. Or if you're a goody two shoes, you can just let him go and come out of it the same way you went in. He's crazy. You like that? Did you see that? That crazy bitch just attacked me out of nowhere. Do you have any idea why? No, none at all. We've been traveling together since I picked her up a few days ago, and she's been friendly this whole time. We'd actually been flirting a little when she suddenly pulled a gun out and began yelling at me to hand my caps over. Now that I think of it, though, she laughed when I threw her my money. I think what she really wanted was my Lucky Charm necklace. Lucky Charm necklace? Yeah, every once in a while you can find a cap with a blue star on it. They're pretty rare, so I started collecting them. Once I had enough, I made a necklace out of them, since I thought they were lucky. Lucky for me, you mean? Hand them over, or I gut you like a fish. Uh, yeah, sure. H here you go. Just don't hurt me. No witnesses. This is another encounter that you can find outside of Nipton. You'll hear some gunshots, and usually one of them is already dead by the time you find them but basically this guy has a lucky charm necklace made of star bottle caps and she is attempting to get them from him if you nab those you'll get about seven more to add to your counts those are going to be the main two instances of big time star bottle cap earns the rest you're probably going to have to scavenge singularly from various places or get off of actual sunset sarsaparilla bottles there's a five percent chance that you can get one star bottle cap from every sunset sarsaparilla you drink but of course like malcolm told us before his demise they are all over the place we're going to be going through the main towns first, starting with Good Springs, the general store. Right next to it is this little white house here. And if you head into the bedroom, it's going to be right next to the chessboard. The other one in Good Springs is going to be near the schoolhouse. Just across, you'll find yet another little white worn down house. Except this one is going to be in the kitchen, just sitting on the counter here. Near the exit to Good Springs, you will find the Devil's Gullet, and if you head down to the bottom of this large crater, you should find a crate with another bottle cap inside of it. Over at Gene Skydiving, on your way outside of Good Springs, this is actually usually the first star bottle cap I get in the game. You just walk in, and next to the key, it is sitting there on the table. Lone Wolf Radio is an area where I like to go to grab parts for Eddie, kind of nearby Prim. If you head inside, there's more than just parts here. Towards the back, you'll find some bottle caps, and surely enough, one of them has a star on it. If you follow this railway north of Nipton, when you get west of Prim, you can't go straight west from Prim because there's a big mountain in between, but you'll get to the Emergency Service Rail Yard. If you come on over next to the mattresses, you'll see one, and you should see another star bottle cap right next to it. Next in Prim, we are here in the Bison Steve Motel and Casino, whatever you call this place. It's going to be right in this first big room on the table here. Near the Bison Steve Casino... You're going to find a group of houses over here, and the first one on the left is going to contain yet another bottle cap. Right over here on the bookshelf. You will have to steal this one. Just outside the north, the south of Prim, you will find the California Sunset Drive-In. And if you head on over to this ruined building, see these bottles on the ground, you'll find one and two star bottle caps. In the Mesquite Mountains here, you can actually find a few. The first is here in an unmarked location just under this bridge. You'll find the star bottle cap. And then if you actually travel to the crater where there are no enemies nearby,
like so. You're going to want to cut all the way across. This is actually a really cool area, by the way. Doing this video, I've found quite a few areas I've never been to in the game. And I have, like, over 500 hours in the game. So that's saying a lot. It kind of reminds me of the glow from Fallout 4, if I had to compare it to something. But... Over on the other edge, you'll find Hell's Motel. And if you head into the kitchen, here is the Star Bottle Cap. Further down in the Mesquite Mountains, you'll find the campsite. And again, you won't be able to fast travel because of the enemies nearby. Over at the campsite, it's going to be on top of a metal box next to a rolled up sleeping mattress. I think. Maybe it's in the other tent. There we go. And there's the rolled up sleeping mattress. Next is the prospector's den over by the Vampa Dry Lake, which it seems to be a den of jackals here, which is funny because playing through this game so many times, I've never really seen like a home base for the jackals. But once you go in the building, take your first right here, and did I get this wrong? Turn right into the first door, then look right. Sitting on top of a chessboard on the counter. I took the wrong right. There we go. On your way to the Mojave outpost from Prim, you might find the Nevada Highway Patrol Station. And if you head to the back, you'll find a cell with a man who appears to have been eaten alive by mantises. And he left a little something for you. At the Nipton Road rest stop right here, not the pips pit stop nearby, the rest stop. If you head inside the general store up to the cash register, this one's going to be sitting right behind it or in front of it if you approach from behind. The Mojave Outpost Barracks is going to have a single star bottle cap for you on the back of this counter by the bottle here. While Nipton isn't really a town that you can do anything in, I do consider it a town that is your next natural stop in the storyline. Right in front of the trading post, you're going to find this house here, which houses in the bedroom on the shelf the only star bottle cap that you will get here in Nipton. Now, I don't know who this Bradley is, but if you find his shack at the extreme south of the map, and head on inside. He's uh, definitely defending something in here. And I don't think he was defending this star bottle cap. But that's what we're going to take. At the old nuclear test site nearby Bradley's Shack, Caesar's Legion shape, safe house, and the crash vertebrate. It's kind of in the middle of it all. And in the middle of a bunch of ghouls. If you head inside... Go over to the table with the sciency stuff on it. You'll find it just laying there. Here at the raided farmstead, which is nearby. The same spot, the old nuclear test site. If you head into the trailer, over to the fridge. There it is. This Harper guy really knows how to choose a location just north of the home of the legendary Deathclaw. You head into his shack into the room on the left will find his star bottle cap just laying on a table at the highway 95 vipers encampment south of novak in the northwest lean to you'll find three star bottle caps three regular bottle caps you'll find three bottle caps on this makeshift bedding and one of them will be a star bottle cap i'll get there eventually Novak has one that you can grab in Daisy Whitman's hotel room on the far end of the building, right here at the table. It is another one that you're going to have to steal. And the other one you can get in Novak is going to be towards the edge of town next to No Bark Shack in this house here. If you head into the kitchen, it'll be right on the table here. 
over at the Gr Gibson Scrapyard, just north of Novak. If you head into the garage and turn to your right, this one will be on a bottom shelf next to the tires. At the Southern Nevada Wind Farm, east of the Gibson Scrapyard, if you head inside the maintenance shack, this one will be on top of a metal table in the center of the room. At the El Dorado Gas and Service Station, kind of northeast of Helios 1, if you head inside and go straight to the register, you'll find yourself a star bottle cap. Then if you cut across the El Dorado Dry Lake to the El Dorado substation, it's all the El Dorado here. You go inside and find the Edotronic 3000. Right here, there should be a star bottle cap somewhere that I did not actually look up where it was. It is on the trash can. There we go. I am just blind. You do have to steal that one. Next, I figured we'd take a small break and head to the 188 trading post, maybe get a drink, and... Oh, there's another one here. At the Repcon headquarters here, you're gonna find five bottle caps, which is probably the most singular bottle caps that you'll ever find in an area. The first one is gonna be over here in the gift shop, sitting on the counter. You wanna immediately turn back and go as if you're going to the second floor, but pause right here. There is another one sitting next to those two bottles. Now let's head on up to the second floor where we will find our third. It is going to be in a large squarish room towards the middle with four desks here sitting on there. And now we head on up to the top floor if I can find my way through this messy maze here. There we go. Alright, once you're up here at the top floor, you're going to be looking for a couple of offices. The first is going to be this one, I believe, which is Piers Isley's office. Go ahead and grab that one there. And then you are looking for Leonard Steeple's office, which... I'm going to be honest, I have no idea where that one is, so let me just wander around for a bit. I'm sure I'll find it. And it would turn out that this room here is actually Isley's office, and the other one I grabbed is Leonard's office. But the last bottle cap is laying there on the ground. The Grub and Gulp rest stop here next to the followers outpost and retcon, kind of in the middle of everything. It's a great place to just stop and rest for a bit and forget about all the star bottle caps everywhere. Oh, there's another one. In the Allied Technology offices located west of Cassidy Caravans, you're going to find two more. You head in, you're going to find a bunch of giant ants that you can just beat your way through, and you'll find a desk whose owner seems to be a little bit of a Sunset Sarsaparilla junkie. But on the desk, you'll find two star bottle caps. Now that we've gone through all the more important locations where you can find these, we're going to start going off the beaten path, starting with the Aerotech Office Park. On the opposite end of the park from the entrance, you'll find Suite 300. And if you follow through this hallway all the way to the last room on the left, you'll find one next to the deviled eggs. Going back to Boulder City, because I forgot it, this one is in the Bighorn Saloon on the table to your left as you enter. If you're ever having a nice picnic here in the Mountain Shadows campground, you might find a previous picnicker left you a little surprise on the table over here. 
Yet another area I've actually never been to before, despite being in Lake Mead every playthrough to get that stupid plane for the boomers, this is the scavenger platform. And you're going to be looking for this turned over ammunition box because it is sitting right next to it. Just west of the scavenger platform, you will find a sunken sunset sarsaparilla truck, another unmarked location. If you head all the way to the back of the truck, they might be hard to find with the water everywhere. But there should be a star bottle cap somewhere for you. And there it is. I guess by back of the truck it meant the actual back of the truck and not the front end of the where you... You know what I mean. There it is. In Cerulean Robotics of Freeside you'll find this one just to the room in the right sitting on a table. In the Crimson Caravan Company main office you'll find this one sitting on a radio across the room from where Alice McLafferty would sit if she were alive. This next one is in an unmarked location, the Hostetler home. It is just east of the gun runners here, almost under this bridge next to the stone barricade. You get sent here for a Crimson Caravan quest. Otherwise, it's just a random home in the wasteland. This one is gonna be on a small table in between two couches. The gun runners outside of Freeside are pretty adept at guarding all their schematics and stuff, but it seems they're a little, uh, preoccupied. So why don't you just walk right on in and look over at this crate here to nab another star bottle cap. This is the El Rey Motel just across from Camp McCarran's main entrance. If you head up the stairs and go into this first room, it's going to have a very easy lock on it. You'll have a star bottle cap sitting next to the bottle on the bookshelf. Vault 3, Home of the Fiends, of course has one in it. I don't know how to describe the location, so I'm just going to show you. This is in the living quarters of Vault 3, towards the south of the area. If you come this way, Get that's where it's flooded face. right there. Sorry. Let's come over, take a left, into this room, and here it is on the desk. Nearby Vault 3 in Fiend territory, you'll find New Vegas Steel. And if you walk in, this one is going to be right on the desk in front of you as you enter. To the west of the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters, you'll find the Brewer's Beer Bootlegging House. And if you head inside, it's a bit of a mess. But on the shelf, you'll find another star bottle cap. I wonder what's in the cellar. In the North Vegas Square, north of New Vegas, you'll find a large building called the Gray. Fun fact, it is also colored gray on the outside. Can't be hard to miss. If you go upstairs, turn to the right. It should be the third room here on a table. On a table with a bottle. Oh, I just missed it because I'm stupid again. Yet another bottle cap that you will have to steal. At the Horowitz Farmstead in the north of the map here, you're going to want to go to this skeletal barn here in the center where all the vipers are hanging out. Kind of out one of them right here on, on the, the table. Go ahead some and nab it. Got killed or something. Don't interrupt me. In the Brooks Tumbleweed Ranch, if you head inside the building and around the corner to the kitchen area, you'll find this one laying on a floor and you will have to steal it. But let's be honest here, people. The real treasure to be found here are the Wind Brahmin. At the Silver Peak Mine, on your way up to Jacobstown, as soon as you enter, this one will be on a table to your right. In Jacobstown, home of the mutants, you'll find a cluster of bungalows 
in le right of the entrance to town in the back there's going to be this one open bungalow if you look at the table you'll get another star bottle cap if you ever find yourself up at black mountain here you might find your way into the storage room and there's a little bit of a treasure hunt you can do in here but the real treasure is gonna be in between these two crates here not on this shelf but one below grab yourself that star bottle cap whenever you're in scorpion gulch kind of south of black mountain towards hidden valley you may find this guy already alive fighting these scorpions but most of the time he's dead already and he'll be carrying a star bottle cap at sloan near quarry junction if you head into the mess hall you're gonna find this one on a round table near the vending machine the junction 15 railway station is another area where death claws like to hang around at so be careful going for this one but it is just taking a little rest on the bench waiting for someone to pick it up over at Hunter's Any Farm, where it seems we have a have mix these. of fire geckos and powder gangers, if you head on inside into the kitchen, there's going to be a cluster of bottle caps on the counter, where you should be able to find one and two star bottle caps. That is not the only vault to have one inside of it. This is Vault 19. In the blue sector living quarters, it's going to be the second dorm you come across. That is the elevator that leads down. You'll just follow it around this way into this room. <clears throat> and it's going to be on the desk, the terminal, and the chessboard. So keep an eye out for that. Near Red Rock Canyon in Bonnie Springs, just southeast of the campfire, these vipers are uh, looking a little ugly. Just southeast, you'll find a few crates here. If you look in them, you can get one and two star bottle caps. When you get to the NCR Correctional Facility, home of many more powder gangers, if you head into the visitor's center, this one is going to be right here on the table to your right, and you will have to steal it, so be careful not to piss any of these guys off. On your way to the Boomers at Nellis Air Force Base, you may want to stop here at Field Shack because if you look over at the refrigerator, there is another one lying just inside it. In the Nellis Air Force Base, these two are going to be in the Mess Hall Hangar, which is going to be the one on the left of where you fast travel to. When you get into the mess hall, they're going to be right on this first table here. There's one, and there's two. At the Gypsum Trade Yard, near a pack of death claws, be careful with this one. Try to avoid them. Get into the quarry office. You're going to see some worker ants. It's not completely safe in here, but you head to the back. Get out of my way, ants. And there is a star bottle cap laying on the desk. In Colville Bay, next to where you get the submerged plane for the boomers, you'll find Captain Dean Boats and Rentals. Boat Rentals. You can find two star bottle caps in here. There's one down there below the counter. And there's another one next to the register. Nearby Calville Bay, you're going to find a cap counterfeiting shack. So of course there are going to be some star bottle caps to find here. If you find the table next to the vending machine, of course you're going to have to go into the cellar. should find one there mixed in, another mixed in. And one all on its lonesome near the corner of the table. That is three more to throw in the cat pile. Back at the Colville Bay area, if you follow the shoreline around, you'll find the Fisherman's Pride Shack. And this one will be laying on a table next to the fridge with a bunch of other scattered bottle caps. If I can find it, there we go. 
Next, we move to Bitter Springs, particularly the recreation area where you'll find this building here, the recreation office. And on the back counter, next to the bottles, you will find not just one, but two star bottle caps. When you finally climb to the top of Guardian Peak in the east of the map, you'll find this little campsite, and if you look over by the radio, this one is just sitting on a crate. In the NCR base, Camp Forlorn Hope, if you head into the mess hall, this one is going to be sitting on a table next to a bottle. Camp Golf is an excellent place to add to your collection. If you head into the very large resort building, very hard to miss, head upstairs and into the first room on the right, you will find one on this dresser and two on the other dresser. At the NCR sharecropper farms, you'll notice these silos, and if you go into the barracks next to them, there will be a bottle across from the bunk beds on this desk. A bottle cap, that is. If you've seen my playthrough of Fallout New Vegas, you would know that the Matthews Animal Husbandry Farm is where I spent a while looking for a singular star bottle cap on that staircase right there, but I can assure you now, not only was I looking in the wrong barn, but it's not on the staircase itself, it's upstairs sitting on this crate here. Man, am I stupid sometimes. In Camp Searchlight, once you make your way into the fire station, fight your way past a giant rad scorpion queen, and work your way upstairs across the hallway all the way to the back of the kitchen dining room, you'll find a star bottle cap on a table. North of Camp Searchlight, you will find the Searchlight North Gold Mine. Pretty aptly named. If you head inside, eventually you'll find the enter area. You're going to want to take the right tunnel down. And it's going to be the first little room on the left sitting here on a crate. Cottonwood Cove also has one near the coastline in the ladies room. So men, stay out. It is right here on the bottom shelf as you enter. Heading back down to the Cottonwood Cove area, the Smith Mesa Prospector Camp. As soon as you fast travel here, you turn right around. There it is, laying on a concrete block. To the south, southeast of Cottonwood Cove, you'll find this Blue Paradise Vacation Rentals, which has a few flooded bungalows here. If you go into the middle one, and make your way over to a fridge wherever it may be or maybe not on the fridge it is on the floor in front of the fridge take a drink as you head outside and then head into the northern sunken bungalow here And this is going to be on a counter in the south, kind of weighed down. I guess these bottle caps don't float, but there you go. A random little rundown shack here, the Cliffside Prospector Camp. This is going to have a single star bottle cap on the chessboard. In the large mine house on top of the Coyote Mines here, just at the bottom of the stairs on the table, yet another one. Also in that area happens to be a sniper's nest. If you find it and look on the long plank of wood here, you'll also find the bottle cap. At the Snyder Prospector Camp, kind of north of Camp Searchlight, kind of north, you'll find it here on top of two ruined books by the bedroll. The final singular star bottle cap laying around in the game is going to be in the same area as the Snyder Prospector camp on a wrecked highwayman in the trunk here you'll just find it laying there 
on the ground. So now that we have 111 star bottle caps, that's 61 more than we need. Let's go ahead and head back to the Sarsaparilla headquarters and give these to old Festus and see what we get. Pleased to meet you, partner. Yeah. We've already we've already gone through this. Star info. Oh, no. uh, didn't I didn't I already do this at the beginning of the episode, Festus? Howdy, partner. If you want Deposit my sunset sarsaparilla stars, please. Um, what the hell? Quest failed. Where's the real prize? The Sunset Sarsaparilla Company has received a number of complaints regarding the prize awarded for handing in Sunset Sarsaparilla stars. Therefore, we have seen fit to provide another prize that we feel will placate the most discriminating customer. Just head through the double doors and follow the hallway to your left to the very end. An attendant will be there 
to present your prize directly. With the Sunset Sarsaparilla Company would once again like to thank you for your patronage. Alright, so there's a real prize through the double doors here. Well, uh, let's go see what it is. Oh, I, I've just walked out the back door on accident. I always get confused when coming this direction. I am in the bathroom now. Ah yes, and here we are. It only took multiple tries to get to, but this is the room with the real prize. You get a bunch of Sunset Sarsaparilla Deputy Badges. You get tons of crates of Sunset Sarsaparilla Bottle Caps. Not the ones with the stars, these are just free money. And at the very end, you find Alan Marks, the same man that Malcolm Holmes warned us of. And by picking up his holotape, you end the quest. I guess this is it. Not much air left now. Minutes, maybe. And this is what I have to show for it. I guess the joke's... On me. Probably shouldn't have killed all those people. Probably should have stayed at home and taken care of my ma. I guess this is it. Not much air left now. I guess this is it. Not much air left now. Minutes, maybe. And this is what I have to show for it. I guess the joke's on me. Probably shouldn't have killed all those people. Probably should have stayed at home and taken care of my ma. She always used to say people who murder and steal die bad in the end. Said they... And next to his corpse, you will find the real reward, the unique laser pistol, Pew Pew. Now, Pew Pew is not an ordinary laser pistol. It does drastically more damage than a regular. On the condition that every time you fire it, it will use five energy cells. So look at the bottom right there. I have 10 of 140. I have 5 of 140. So every two shots, you're going to have to reload this thing. But it does a lot of damage. But that is going to be about it for today's episode on the Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Caps. I hope you all enjoyed. This literally took hours to record. And the game gonna be honest with all this modding and console commands I have to do for this series my save file is becoming increasingly unstable so it is crashing a good bit but hey I'm gonna keep going for as long as I can and we're gonna return to this game next time on the shaman's horde not sure what we're gonna do but join me next time and I'll see you then Bye bye <laughs>